In Christian theology, the Christian Church is traditionally divided into the Church Militant Latin, Ecclesia Militans, which consists of Christians on earth who struggle as soldiers of Christ against sin, the devil, and the rulers of the world of this darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high places. The Church Penitent Latin, Ecclesia Poenitans, also called the Church Suffering Latin, Ecclesia Dolens or the Church Expectant Latin, Ecclesia Expectans, which in the theology of certain churches, especially that of the Catholic Church, consists of those Christians currently in purgatory, and the Church Triumphant Latin, Ecclesia Triumphans, which consists of those who have the beatific vision and are in heaven. These divisions are known as the three states of the Church, especially within Catholic ecclesiology. In systems of theology which reject the doctrine of purgatory, such as Lutheranism, the Church's militant and triumphant are together known as the two states of the Church. These divisions are often discussed in the context of the doctrine of the communion of saints. Although Christians may be physically separated from each other by the barrier of death, they nonetheless remain united to each other in one Church, and support each other in prayer. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Topic. Topic. Militant Topic. The term militant Latin, militans, has a primary meaning of being a soldier, performing military service, but it acquired a secondary meaning of serving, performing service, laboring, with its root milito coming to mean soldier of Christ or God in medieval Latin usage. The members of the Church Militant, i.e. those Christians on earth, are engaged in spiritual warfare against sin in order that, when they die, they might enter heaven and join the Church Triumphant. Failing that directly, those who believe in the existence of purgatory hope to die in a state of grace and join the Church Penitent, to purify themselves of their imperfections and, ultimately, join the Church Triumphant. Topic. Penitent. Topic. The term penitent Latin, poenitans or pinitans means, "...repenting, being sorry." Those who constitute the church penitent are in purgatory to satisfy whatever portion of the temporal punishment due for their sins was not satisfied before death. They are in a process of purging their imperfections before entering heaven. It is held that all members of the church penitent will eventually join the church triumphant. The alternate term suffering Latin, dolens, lit. Grieving emphasizes the nature of soul's experience in purgatory, they are suffering the temporal consequences of their sins to redemptive effect. The other alternative, expectant Latin, expectans or expectans, emphasizes that the souls of purgatory are awaiting expectantly the beatific vision of heaven. Triumphant <inaudible> 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 The term triumphant Latin, triumphans, means exulting, rejoicing exceedingly, taken from a figurative usage of triumphus, originally designating the Roman triumph. Those who constitute the church triumphant rejoice eternally in the glory of God, to whom they are united in the beatific vision. Topic. Usage in different Christian churches Topic. Topic. Anglican Communion Topic. Anglicans believe that "...the Church on earth is united with the Church in heaven, sanctorum communio, they speak of the Church militant here on earth and the Church triumphant in heaven. They worship God together with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven." Catholic Church Topic. The Catholic Church commemorates the Church Triumphant and the Church Penitent in its liturgy on two consecutive days, All Saints' Day on November 1 the Church Triumphant and All Souls' Day on November 2 the Church Penitent. These terms are not used in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, an authoritative summary of the teaching of the Catholic Church published in 1994. However, the teaching these terms represent is precisely restated, quoting Lumen Gentium, the three states of the Church, "...when the Lord comes in glory, and all his angels with him, death will be no more and all things will be subject to him." 
but at the present time some of his disciples are pilgrims on earth. Others have died and are being purified, while still others are in glory, contemplating in full light, God himself triune and one, exactly as he is." <laughs> Lutheran Church Eric Lund, a Lutheran professor, described an analogy relating the Old Testament to the New Testament. God ordered two altars to be placed in the tabernacle. Fire was transferred from the outer one to the inner one. God also assembled a twofold church, the church militant and the church triumphant. The fire of love will someday be transferred from the church militant to the church triumphant. As such, within Lutheranism, that is called the church militant, which in this life is still fighting, under the banner of Christ, against Satan, the world, and the flesh. Likewise, that is called the church triumphant, which, being transferred to heavenly rest, and relieved from the labor of fighting, and the danger of being overcome in heaven against all contending powers. Heinrich Schmid, a Lutheran theologian explains that the church militant derives her name from spiritual warfare, citing Ephesians 6 verses 10, 1 Peter 5 verses 8-9, 1 John 5 verse 4, Romans 7 verse 14, and Galatians 5 verse 17. He further states that the church triumphant derives her name from spiritual victory, citing Revelation 2 verse 10, Revelation 4 verse 4, and Revelation 7 verse 9. Topic. Methodist churches Topic. The African Methodist Episcopal Church, a part of the World Methodist Council, defines the church militant as "...engaged in constant warfare against the world, the flesh and the devil, and in that respect is distinguished from the church triumphant." It defines the church militant as inclusive of all Christian denominations, among them Methodism, Presbyterianism, Baptist churches, Congregational churches, Anglicanism, among many others. In the same fashion, it defines the church triumphant as existing in heaven, and consist of those who have washed their robes and made them immaculate and pure in the blood of the Lamb. In Methodist theology, the communion expressed at the Eucharist is not only within the church militant, but is between the church militant and the church triumphant. <inaudible> Seventh-day Adventist Church The Seventh-day Adventist Church defines the terms in the following ways. While in this world the Church is a militant Church, daily engaged in the battles of its Lord, and in warfare against satanic agencies. Its members are in constant conflict with the world, the flesh, and the powers of evil Rom, 7 Gal, 5 1 Peter 5 verses 8, 9, 1 John 5 verse 4, cf. 1 John 4 verse 4. If this side of the Lord's return the Church is the militant Church, the Church of the New Jerusalem is the triumphant Church. It is made up of faithful disciples and conquerors in this worldly battle. They have exchanged the sword for a palm of victory Rev 7 and the cross for a crown 2 Tim, 4 8, 1 Peter 5 verse 4. The battle is over, the mission accomplished Matt, 25 23, and the redeemed, invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb Rev. 19 eat and drink at Christ's table in his kingdom Luke chapter 22 verses 28 and reign with him forever and ever Rev. 22 Thus, the Seventh-day Adventist view is that the Church is the Church militant until the general resurrection at the end of the present age. The Church becomes the Church triumphant only after the Second Coming of Christ. Secular uses The two states account of the Church was adapted by Anatoly Lunacharsky to distinguish between a socialistic culture of the future Ecclesia triumphans and proletarian culture of the proletariat struggling in the present against capitalism Ecclesia militans. This theoretical approach was used in the development of Topic. See also Topic. Book of Common Prayer Catholic Spirituality Ecclesiology 
Ecclesiology, Catholic Church. Divisions of the world in Islam. Topic. References. Topic. The Spirit of Catholicism, ch. 7 to 8. The Communion of Saints, by Carl Adam. Communion of Saints, article from the Catholic Encyclopedia. Lumen Gentium, Dogmatic Constitution on the Church, n. 49. Topic. External links. Topic. The Catholic Church is the Mystical Body of Christ by Fr. William G. Mostimages. The Church Militant and Triumphant. 1365-68. Fresco by Andrea da Firenze. Capella Spagnola, Santa Maria Novella, Florence. Disputation of the Holy Sacrament, La Disputa. 1510-11. Fresco by Raffaello Sanzio. Stanza della Segnatura, Palazzi Pontifici, Vatican. Image from the Desert of Religion, and other poems and religious pieces, depicting the Church suffering bottom being lifted up to heaven and the Church triumphant top through the prayer of the Church militant middle. The Church triumphant top and the Church militant middle praying for the Church suffering bottom. The Church triumphant top and the Church militant bottom praying for the Church suffering bottom left and right by René de Kramer.